Guys, in this video, I tell you guys how to play Ezreal from behind. And I was down over 10k gold in this game, guys. I was down over 10k gold. I wasn't doing good at all in the early game, and we were able to come back. So if you want to learn how to come back with Ezreal in, in a terrible worst case scenario, this video will teach you how. So make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this, and I'll catch you guys in the gameplay. Alright guys, we're finally in game, and... The reason why I chose this game to do this like uh, analysis with is because this was actually a very, very difficult game to win. We had a Master Yi that was absolutely trash, like complete trash. So there's a so this was just a great game to, to show like how you could really utilize Ezreal to win games that should not be winnable. Uh, so. Let's talk about my first thoughts. I was like breaking down the ADC matchups. Uh, so we have Ali Star Ezreal against a Brom Kaisa. So how do you want to play this matchup? Well, Brom and Kaisa is actually a super, super gray uh, duo dragon lane composition. Kaisa wants to farm up and Brom does a great job of peeling for Kaisa in the early game. And Brom is also a really great counter into Alistar. Now this Alistar is actually pretty smart this game as well. But when you're playing against Brom and Kaisa, there's two main things you need to watch out for. The Brom's... Uh... The Brom's poke. Okay, the Brom's poke. I don't know the actual name of it or what skill it is. I'm pretty sure it's probably skill one. That thing right there. So when the ice pushes out... Uh, let's just say call it Brahms poke when he pokes with that That's one thing you need to watch out for because it will apply marks on you and once those marks are filled up You will be stunned so you do not you need to watch out for that. So Stay behind minions be ready to dodge it. Do not get hit by it. Do not get hit by it The second thing you gotta watch out for in this lane is Kaisa's skill one and I actually saw someone in the comments asked before what's an isolated Q or a Q stands for Kaisa's skill one ability Kaisa's skill one, an isolated Q is when, okay, so we're kind of taking a little good trade here. Uh, Kaisa's uh, isolated Q is basically when she uses her skill one on one target, when all of it hits one target, when that, when it shoots out those like little like attacks basically to one target. That's why it's called an isolated Q because it's one target. So right here, we rotate down, we focus Brom, and we pop his flash because we want to help our Massey in the jungle. But I end up flashing out here because their Lee Sin comes, rotates, and sadly kills Alistar here, which which kind of sucks. Which kind of sucks. And then Chuck rotates with the star. I try to help him out here. I, I, and I go for Braum, right? Because Braum's the lowest. So as you can see me, I'm focusing Braum. I'm ignoring everyone else. And I'm actually thinking here, it's like, okay, I feel like I might be able to kill Kaisa. And I try to make a play onto Kaisa here. I'm trying to bait with the minions because I know that Kaisa is going to go for that minion. But sadly, I was not able to do enough damage to really kill her there. But anyways... I let the cannon minion kill my cannon. I let the enemy cannon minion kill my cannon minion to deny that 85 gold. And I go for a recall. Ooh, oops. Hit the cord by accident. Okay, so now I have man immune, guys. So once you have man immune, what you're going to see me do is just shoot out my uh, abilities. Like, I'm just going to use my ability here. But I'm actually going for an ultimate onto Kai'Sa. Boom! I was wondering why I wasn't spamming my abilities right there. It was because I was looking to get a kill. But... Chuck ends up dying right there. He got caught out. But anyways, so I ended up getting snipe on Kaisa. You got to be able to utilize Ezreal's ult as snipes. Like, dude, it does a lot of damage. So you need to make sure you understand how much damage your Ezreal does because you could end up picking off some really good kills. And one good thing to understand is there's there's a couple there's there's numerous ways to use Ezreal's ultimate. Number one is to kill an enemy, man. When everyone's low, you use it to kill an enemy. Number two, you use it to combo with other abilities, which you will see a lot in this game. Uh, or I actually just do it a lot in general. If someone stuns, I like to combo with an ultimate. Especially with a soul stun, it's super good. And then, and another way is to get your your passive fully stacked. You get your passive fully stacked when you use it. So. Aesol comes in with a star right here, and I actually messed up my ult. I, was, I didn't know Lee Sin exited the pit. 
Right here, we were actually able to secure the dragon. Lee Sin, I mean, uh, Masi secured the dragon. I ended up dying, and we completely lose this team fight, right? Completely lose that team fight. I mean, completely. It was a terrible, terrible fight. I messed up my ultimate. I was trying to, I was trying to hit Lee Sin, do some pressure, but he actually exited the pit, and that was really bad for me. Really, really bad for me. But it's okay. We're down a lot of gold, and so guys, like I said, this was an actually extremely bad early game. Right here, I flashed to cancel Lee Sin's recall, and I was thinking that we could we could uh, end up killing him, and it actually got close here. It actually got extremely close. Uh, we go for a stun, and I tried to go on to Lee Sin, but I wasn't able to go on to him, sadly, so... You know, I don't know. I really thought we could have killed him there, so that's why I popped the flash, but it wasn't it wasn't the best case. So you guys are probably wondering how the hell do we end up winning this game? It's really interesting, right? But we do have Cloud Dragon. But as you guys can see, you're gonna just see me throwing out my abilities. I'm just stacking right now. Like I'm not even trying to hit anything. Like I'm literally just using it. As you guys can see, like I'm literally just using it. So in this lane, now I have to watch out for Braum's ultimate and Kaisa's ultimate, and still the isolated cues and everything like that. So honestly, I don't really want to trade. You really don't want to try to take a fight with Braum once Braum gets level five. When when Braum has level five, it gets kind of scary, guys. See, that was an isolated Q onto Braum. It did a lot of damage. So in order to counter an isolated Q, you have to stand on top of a wave or near minions or you know near another champion. So not all of that ability goes on you. I get some more easy poke down, but I'm literally spam my abilities. Uh, we actually end up taking a 2v2 trade here, which uh, was really good. So this Alistar engages uh, Engages in a very smart way. So Alistar saw See Alistar is looking for the right time to engage and the question is what what is the best time to engage and the best time to engage is when is when Braum wastes his uh, Poke when Braum wastes his poke then you can engage because then you don't need to worry about getting stunned uh, and that's really the best way to go about it. So trust me guys, this game turns up. This game turns up. Like right now, it's looking absolutely awful. But this is the one thing I love about Ezreal, right? The game could go so bad and you could still win. So we're down 3k gold, which is pretty bad here. And I'm just stacking on Braum. Ali with a decent engage knocks Braum into me, but I can't really do anything here. I'm really behind and I don't really have any vision on them. So I'm not trying to engage. And right now... I'm still stacking my my man immune. I get my man immune at a really good time this game as well. See right here we see Katarina rotating and I actually dash into the thing. So this this ends up being really, really uh bad. This turns out really bad for us, right? Because everyone rotates here for us. Chuck tries to get a good ultimate there but wasn't able to get it. Leeson comes and we're just all dead, right? So like I said guys. This game is looking really bad, like really, really bad, really bad. Like right there, we all died. But this is where you just got to continue to believe. Like, trust me, this game is super, super bad. Like if we look at the scores right here, guys, like I'm two and two. Chuck's 0 and three. Ali stars 0 and four. Kennen's four and one. He's the only one doing decent. And and uh, Master Yi is 0 and two. And he dies again. He dies again. So he's 0-3. So as you guys can see, we're down a lot of gold. A lot, a lot of gold. So it's like, how do we end up winning this game? And there's a lot of things that play into it. And it's 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 it, this is a great way to show how to play Ezreal from re, from behind. From behind, for sure. So we end up getting, I, I take this blue buff because it's a really great strong blue buff for us. And basically what I'm looking for, right, is when I'm behind on Ezreal, it's like, where can I get free kills? But I end up, I think I throw right here. I think I throw. It's like, I'm like, okay, I'm going to face check this bush, but I end up getting absolutely destroyed. So just absolutely awful. Like that was so bad on so many levels. Jesus, that was so bad. Uh, the reason why I face checked that, I honestly, there was no smart way of face checking this. Like, now me rewatching this game back even more, it just shows, like, how behind I was this game. Like, I'm two and three right now. It's miserable. It's miserable. But I'm still believing, guys. I'm literally still believing. So, our win condition. 
what's our win condition right here this is the first throw right we kennan ends up getting a phenomenal ult and look at me i ult right as that katarina is stays to seeing i get the takedown on katarina and we try to look for more here master Yi, guys look how low they are master Yi wasn't able to kill a single one of them but what went well there is i got the shutdown on katarina so how do you come back with ezreal when you're behind you want to look for free kills wherever you can that's huge and another another way to come back into the game is the game is not look if you're very skilled mechanically and you're a smart player you can win any type of game i'm, I'm being really serious with you but there's some things you got to look for like you when you go you got to think about your win conditions so in this game it's like all right we're down ak gold what do we need we need to single out some enemies and get some free kills right as ezreal i need a little bit more farm i need a little bit more farm once i get my trinity force I will be a literal monster and I end up getting the Trinity because I got that takedown on Katarina and guys this is their next throw right here this is their next throw it's it's coming up it's coming up here but also getting Baron is a way to come back so guys look at this this is where they start throwing right so Braum is engaging on us and I'm just chilling I see Kaisa I dodge the Braum ult and I'm just focusing both of them look how low these guys are getting right now they're extremely low and I'm just, I'm going to keep chasing them down, right? I'm keeping everything up. I get Braum. I'm waiting for Chuck right now to rotate to us. Katarina engages. I flash the Katarina. I end up ulting, but the ult, I whiffed my ultimate. I whiffed my ultimate completely. I thought they were going to keep running, but they were actually able to walk to the honeycomb. So, why was that really good? Got a free kill on Braum. That's another takedown, guys. Another takedown. Uh, we're down 10k gold. Like, guys... We were down 10k gold and we were still able to make a comeback, bro. Like, that's actually ridiculous. So, guys, I see that they end up kind of throwing here. Chuck ends up engaging onto them. It's looking good. He gets one. I come here to get the the Draven. We end up getting the Draven. Now, Lee Sin ends up coming here and we kill Draven. I mean, we kill Lee Sin and I get 770 gold. And then we get Prom. And then, look, Ison's coming in. Oh my god, like they're all throwing. Now right here, I stasis, I don't want to end up dying, and I just spawn up and kill him. So they were up 10k gold, now they're only up 6k gold. Wow. I end up getting this turret as well. We end up getting mid tower too, so we need to look at actually how much gold these guys ended up losing there. Wow, they lost a lot of gold. Wow, they're only up 4k. They lost 6k, they gave us 6k gold. Dude, it's, that was ridiculous. They just all threw individually. So now it's like we're back in the game. We are back in this game, bro. Like, it's actually... How did how the hell did we get back in this game? But we did it. We did it. So now that I'm fed, I'm going to start popping off. I, rec I recall again for Blade of the Rune King here. I pick up Blade of the Rune King. And now I'm just an absolute menace in this game right now. So let's think about how we take team fights. When I, when we're playing a Raelian Soul and an Ezreal, we just poke down and then just honestly go on whoever we can in, in, engage and and CC. So with our comp, we got a great CC. We got Ali Star engage, Kennen ultimate, uh, a Raelian Soul Star, just a lot of CC, right? So right here, I'm gonna look to start poking, start poking because Infernal's up. So I'm just poking. Uh, Ali Star ends up getting caught right here, right? So, I'm just focusing Braum. We got the stun onto Braum. We kill Braum. I start focusing on Katarina. And I, and I ult Lee Sin. Oh my god, I had the hiccup or the burps for a second. And we kill Kaisa. And we're, we're just playing good. I'm just engaging down on them. Just killing them just like that. Dude, Lee Sin barely lives. So, right here is Super Sketch, right? Me and Chuck are contemplating. Can we do... Can we do Infernal? And the reason why we're a little little scared on this issue is like, well, Lee Sin has smite. Lee Sin could steal it over us. So I end up pulling the dragon there and I'm staying positioned to where we can zone Lee Sin away. So Chuck and I are zoning Lee Sin. Uh, Lee Sin goes over. We're just focusing Lee Sin. Like no one's focusing dragon. And look at this. Guys, I always prep my ultimate for people when they spawn up. But that was a, that was a good... I mean, he stasis my ult. But the reason why that wasn't good that he stasis was because he couldn't secure the dragon. So that was kind of an L stasis. But he was dead regardless. So we ended up getting Infernal. And guys, 
We just came back from a 10k gold deficit. That should never happen. Like, literally, now we're only down 2k gold. Like, that is ridiculous to come back that, that much of a margin. Like, oh my god, that's actually ridiculous. Like, now we're only behind. Like, we're barely behind. But I'm super fed in this game now. I'm 10 and 3. I'm so strong. I'm so strong. Uh, I was just playing really smart with getting kills, guys. I was 2 3, and I became 10 3. So. After I started dying a little bit, I got it together. So we're going in with a star. We're going to go on whoever we get. So it looks like we were able to stun Braum. And we just killed Braum just like that. Just like that. Oh my god, that was ridiculous. That was literally ridiculous. So now we're just clearing this this wave. And we're trying to siege. Because Aesol and us are just such so strong. Look at this stun, man. Oh my god. We just, we just uh, run him down, man. And I try, I, I I have my ultimate up, but I didn't ult uh, Kaisa there because it wasn't going to kill her. So we end up, I think, just ending right here. Literally, we just end up ending, man. I kill Kaisa, I think, right here. Yep, I kill Kaisa again. And wow, I mean, that is how you play Ezreal from behind. You look for where you could get some free kills. You look for where you could get some free kills and and really go from there. Also, you want to make sure you look for Baron. Just think about your win condition, guys. Think of your win condition. I got MVP, 32k damage. Like, guys, think about how bad that early game was, man. That was the worst early game you could possibly get. And being down 10k gold, that should not be... You should not be able to come back from that. But I, I was able to do it, and so can you guys. So, I hope this guy... I hope this video will help you guys play Ezreal a little bit better. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.